All right. I just want to post a video for somebody that uh, is uh, customizing like little Hot Wheels and stuff. You can do paint jobs and all of them. And uh, I just want to show you one of the secrets that some guys use. And uh, you can get little test bottles of this stuff. And, uh, or you used to could, hopefully you still can. This is a 2008 catalog, but the good thing about this paint is it's made out of watercolors. And uh, at the time when I got this, of course, the uh, clear coat, you had to use something else. But the watercolors and all, you ain't have to worry about all the uh, toxicity of it. But I'm going to show you in this book that, uh, like I said, this is a 2008 catalog. But at the, in the uh, back of it, it's got like mixing ratios to get different colors. And then to make your own custom color, you just alter it any way you want. You can make any color that exists your own and nobody else will have that color paint so but I'm showing you how these guys customize uh, motorcycles and cars and you never figure out exactly how they do it well uh, for something like a uh, little Hot Wheels you see this guy's using a little airbrush on a little car that's all you're gonna be using at Harbor Freight you can get a uh, little cheap uh, spray made out of plastic. I mean, it doesn't include the air compressor, but the spray bottle stuff itself is only a couple of bucks when I got it on sale. I tested it on a uh, glove box on my real truck I'm building. Hadn't got around to painting it yet, but I'll just go through this real quick. I don't want to take too long. Your test bottles, you can get some little small bottles like these. And uh, here's a uh, truck that was done with it. This style truck I own. But mine's going to be like a uh, Reese's uh, peanut butter cup wrapper. And, uh, of course, Rat Fink. Uh, a couple of guys sprayed some hockey helmets. You can see the graphics on them. It's a... Uh, I can't remember what that was. I don't remember. Yeah, it's the back of the motorcycle. And uh, front of the car. A, uh, guitar done with it you can do graphics like this here's some of your uh, colors more colors and then uh, this right here is your uh, pearlescent your sparkles I mean this stuff works real good and uh, your different uh, sets and uh, let's see here's some of your flame sets you can get for real cars it's got the different colors that you're going to need and like I said this is 2008 there's no telling what's out now 2012 it's got your uh, stencils you can use and like I say to get that you can order all these stencils and uh, makes it real easy for somebody taping the car off Another one done. Okay. Here's somebody's flame job. I mean, this stuff's ama it's amazing paint. I ain't kidding you. But uh, for you guys that have ever seen the uh, marbleized paint jobs, here's a guy doing it on the side of a car. And uh, it shows how he's putting it down once it starts, once you put it on the, uh, I think it's wax paper. Then they'll put the uh, saran wrap on it. You see him doing it. Sorry about the traffic noise. You see him putting the saran wrap down. And then when he's spraying it, once he peels it off, once you wipe it down, look at the marbleization on it. There's more uh, sparkle lesson. Yeah, too much clear. And uh, anyway, take a little too long. This paint job, paint job, paint job, paint job. And uh, like I say, these are your different mixes. And uh, 
these large kits, if you look, even like in the old book, it says uh, $731.38. You might think that it's expensive, but if you ever get a uh, custom paint job done, they're about $8,000. So, and of course, your small kits, you look at this one here is $282. It just depends. But uh, this is one of your upper end, real large kits here. And uh, got more graphics. Here's your colors. But anyway. They probably got a whole lot more better than this now. But like I say, you just uh, mix up your different paints and you can get what you want. The one I'm doing is, let's see if I can find it. Mine's a little bit like this one here, but it's hard to see out here now. But. That stuff when you clear cut it, it really pops. But anyway, just something to think about. And uh, you can go on the internet, like I say, and you type in auto air colors and check it out. Hopefully, I didn't take up too much time, but that's it for now.